The most exciting season of the Snapdragon Pro Series ended today, and it ended exactly the way it started. It was literally anybody's game. We came into the last night of wars with three tickets to packs available and six teams still in contention. Our first match of the night was Damian and Aphelion Esports taking on Golden X, who was a long shot, but technically still had a chance. They had to win both of their wars tonight, and they were going to need a lot of help in the tiebreakers, but they weren't able to muster up enough offense to overcome Aphelion. Pavu put this game out of reach with this triple, keeping his team in the hunt. We knew we had business to handle, and we're halfway there. We've got one more, one more war left, and we got to handle business later tonight. That took us to our second war of the night, Nebula versus Empire. Nebula was in a must win versus the best team in the league. Not an entirely impossible situation, but not exactly where you want to be either. That situation didn't get any easier on the heels of this one star attack from Halo. They never really recovered into the war after that, and Smokey Bear just put it away here with safe two star as usual. This war had major implications for the standing, securing at least fourth place in a ticket to Pax for Aphelion and knocking Nebula out of contention. It was a disappointing finish for Nebula, who was at the top of our power rankings after week two, but finished the season with three consecutive losses. Our next match saw the return of Golden X, and this time with the opportunity to play spoiler over Taco Tony and Method to Madness, exactly like they did in San Diego at the season two finals. But Method to Madness wasn't out just yet. It came down to the last war. And they were able to do just that. This war was neck and neck the whole way until Powerade put it out of reach by securing this triple. And this loss didn't actually eliminate Method of Madness yet, but it did mean our returning champions United Gaming, in spite of an inconsistent season, were mathematically guaranteed at least fourth place, and they secured their invite to pass. This took us to our final war of season three. Fifty Shades of Hog, who only qualified for this season because Omnipotence was unable to play would play against the returning champions United Gaming in a do or die showdown. If they could beat the Juggernauts, Fifty Shades would get the invite. If they couldn't, then Taco Tony and company would be heading to Seattle. And with all the pressure on, it didn't look good at the start. Nick, the one from Fifty Shades, attacked Nick, the GOAT, and scored a disappointing 64%. But United didn't fare much better on their attack, and Spizzik and Lochness shook off the nerves and came through huge with back-to-back -back triples. Easy had the task of putting the war out of reach by getting a triple, and he rose to the occasion, all the pressure of the whole season on the line, and this dude's got ice in his veins. Ice in his veins, but fire on the charts. Fifty Shades of Hog joins the likes of United Gaming, Aphelion Esports, and Empire Gaming as the four squads headed to finals at PAX in Seattle. Now, four teams are headed there, but only one team can be crowned the champion. Witness the conclusion to the most exciting season of the SPS yet. September 1st, I'll see you there.